What brand name is actually 100% worth spending more for? Crayola. Rose art crayons have haunted me since I was a child till the day I pass. Rose art crayons are like trying to color with a candle. I'm a frugal bastard but I swear by Dawn dish soap. It gets fleas off pets. Grease off tools. Soot off brick. Oil out of clothes. And is a key ingredient in lots of homemade cleaners and garden chemical mixtures. I always pay the little extra for a bit lighter over the cheap transparent ones. They rarely break and they're more ergonomic. They also last forever. I've maybe managed to keep one long enough for it to become empty once or twice. Pilot G2 pens. Agree. My dad actually orders his with a 38 tip. He loves the flow. Doesn't smudge as much. As a lefty. Zebra F402 pens. Fine point. No smear. No pressing hard to get a clean line. Since I discovered them I can't go back to other ballpoint pens. As another lefty. Uni Jetstream pens are the same. They dry instantly so no smearing and they don't skip at all. KitchenAid stand mixer. I've had mine for over 10 years now. Use it at least once a week and takes a beating during Christmas time and it still works like a charm. If you ever blow a gear out needing a tough dough, you can replace them pretty easily as well. High-end outdoors gear, Arcturix, Patagonia, etc. Sometimes that extra bit of insulation or reduced weight can mean the difference between life and death. Can I add Osprey backpacks and on tough socks? A little higher upfront cost but real lifetime warranties. Faber-Castell. Faber-Castell colored pencils are some of the best out there. Any paints. House paint. Car. Boat. Trains and planes. Usually the higher the cost, the better the paint. Love Sherwin-Williams Emerald Products is house paint. Used to sell paint and I can confirm. Always buy the premium brands unless you want to spend all day painting the same walls 20 times. Customers always bought the cheapest paint we had and complained that they needed 5 to 10 coats to cover a wall. Stanley Stainless Steel Vacuum Thermos Bottles. I have one that holds a 12 cup pot of coffee that I bought at a neighbor's estate sale 30 years ago and it was probably 20 years old then. It still works exactly as promised. I did have trouble cleaning the coffee crud out of the bottom of it until I saw Heloise int on this, fill it about one stroke three full of hot tap water and drop in about four denture cleaning tablets and let it sit overnight. You wouldn't believe how clean it is after that treatment. Wow I had no idea this would take offline this. Thank you I thought you want to have a look at my old Stanley. Stanley Vacuum Bottle Thermos, https colon slash slash, imgur, com gallery slash 38tzfg1. Toyota for anyone who drives their car into the ground. Maybe not so much if you lease. Ticonderoga pencils. I'll write a whole 10 page essay by hand with one of those babies. My engineering teacher did an entire lesson on why they are the best pencils ever made. Don't cheap out on appliances. I got a Bosch set for my washer dryer and so far they've outlasted three sets of my father-in-law's LGS. Samsung's. And another one I don't remember. People complain appliances don't last as long as they used to. And while I don't disagree, it's often because they buy the cheap models. Wait until you discover meal. Pyrex glass cookware and food storage containers. I've had cheaper things crack on me. Lids break but Pyrex lasts forever. There are two versions of Pyrex. If you get the old stuff it's awesome the new shit is just branding. In all honesty, Tupperware. My mom has some Tupperware containers that are almost as old as me and they are still in good condition. It's rare that I can find plastic containers that are even close in quality and durability. Are they those orange yellow and pea green bowls with lids that fit tight enough a nuclear blast couldn't get them off? And X200B. Also everyone has the yellow pasta strainer. Dawn dishwashing liquid. I haven't found anything else that works as well. Smart food white cheddar popcorn. I wind up eating the whole bag in one sitting no matter what size I buy. Ziploc bags. Fuck them store brands. If you're in Texas, try the HEB store brand freezer bags they feel more sturdy and close better than Ziploc. Nice try. Corporate. You'll never get a secret survey from me. Big Crayon is rolling out their army of Reddit shills. Shimano Altegra Bicycle Components. Works smoothly. 
reliable, can't complain, they make damn good fishing reels too. 3 meters post-it notes, making an adhesive strong enough to stop the notes curling up at the edge and falling off, but weak enough that you can remove and replace them at will, seems to be outside the skill set of every other company. When my daughter was a baby I put a 3 meter post-it note on our door that said please don't ring doorbell. It lasted 6 years stuck to our front door in Alberta without ever falling off. I finally took it down last year when my younger son stopped napping. Bra. I never had one fit me properly until I was fitted at Nordstrom and then handed a $60 bra with a size I didn't know was even made and it fit like a glove and was comfortable and it made my boobs look good. Edit. Thank you to Dimpletown for suggesting I edit this comment to add the brand. Which is Matori. They make my 30DD over the shoulder boulder holder. Also. All the silly and ridiculous individuals who comment about pics for proof. Please reference the first two adjectives in this sentence. Don't leave us hanging what's the brand? Q-tips. I don't know what all the other brands and generics are doing. But I swear their cotton to stick ratio is always off. Too pokey or too soft. Can't be just me. The Q in tip stands for quality. All cotton swabs say you shouldn't use them in your ear for liability purposes. They all know that's pretty much their primary function. Carhood socks. I am super picky about my socks. If they're too tight, my feet sweat and get cold. If too loose, they bunch up in my shoes as I walk. Too thin and they're useless in winter. Too thick and they are too tight when I'm wearing shoes. Carhartt produces several socks that are perfect, especially for winter. Loose enough to let my feet breathe. Not too thick to feel uncomfortable in my shoes. And no bunching as I walk. Have you ever tried on tough? They're from Vermont and, funny enough, have a lifetime warranty. Nipex hand tools. Milwaukee power tools. I've got a Milwaukee power ratchet. I've never used a tool so much I call it Frank. Like the hot sauce. I use that shit for everything. Carigold salted butter. Edit, lol didn't see this blowing up. Thanks for the upvotes and awards. Honestly. Gold absolutely ruined regular conventional American butter for me. Forever. Can't pay me to go back. 3 meters. Their products are worth every penny compared to other brands and third party sellers. Their tape alone is a complete world apart from everything else in the market. Worth it. Lego. Fisker's stuff, axes, shovels, hammers, but also scissors. Don't know if you realize, but Fisker's have a lifetime warranty. Go on their website, take a snap of the broken item, and send it to them. They will replace it. No questions asked. Some of their sewing scissors do break occasionally and I've gotten replacements when they do. Meal vacuums. Used to buy a new vacuum cleaner. Every year and a half. Bought one meal and it's still going strong after 12 years. I don't care if it was four times as expensive to purchase. The cost per year for the meal is actually lower. When it comes to headphones. Old mate Senny, Senhiza, is a strong contender. A $50 pair of cans I bought from them sounds like a $120 pair of cans and last just as long. The further up the price rungs you go. The less total dominance they have. But they're still very good. Duluth Trading Company, especially for underwear. There was a half-off sale a while back and I got enough that I never have to wear other brands. Spoke like my dad. He has so much DTC and it's an easy. Go to gift for any occasion. Herman Miller. My chair from them saved my back over quarantine. As far as outdoorsy stuff and tools. Bunch made knives. See to summit sleeping bags. Hyperlite tents and packs. Merrill boots. Estwing tools. Leatherman multi-tools. Check out our buy at 4Life. Lots of good stuff on there. Edit, some friendly debate on the Merrill brand. I'm just gonna give my two cents. Mine were some boots from 2015 so they could have gone down in quality. I have no clue. My first pair lasted from Georgia to almost the end of Virginia but I was doing near 15 20 plus mile days depending on the terrain. They saw over 500 me slash 800 km, https colon slash slash, imgur, comma slash 1 n 3 ip key. There's a ton of great boots out there though. Shop around. Acme brand dynamite. Fully agree. 
always detonates at the right moment for maximum dramatic and comedic effect. OXO. Kitchen utensils. Housewares in general. Their stuff is so intuitively made and well designed. And just looks great to boot. If they make a version of anything I need, I will always choose their brand over anyone else's. Darn tough socks. They really are. Michelin high performance tires, long lasting tread. Quat. Excellent traction. Q-tip. I was out of them and happened to see a box of generic cotton swabs at a dollar store so I bought them. A 500 pack. They were covered in a wisp of actual cotton. Hurt. Bent and half once inserted mid-ear and we suffered through about 40 of them before the husband growled and threw them away. We are a loyal tip brand only family now. Update. I will stick whatever I want. In whatever hole I want. So save your medical advice. I've been drilling my ears since the 70s and don't need anyone warning me of shit. Now get off my lawn. Red Wing Work Boots. I only buy their upper level boots and have never regretted the purchase. I started with other brands and once I hit Red Wing's I was done. Kahat. I've always said. In a zombie apocalypse. The best clothing to wear will be a Kaha jumpsuit. Angry dogs can't bite through it. There'd be no chance in hell a rotting human could. Corel wear. That shit is damn near indestructible and bonus it's been around for forever so you often find it super cheap at thrift shops. Patagonia. Hands down. Their items are made to last a lifetime and are quality. I also really like Pact. They carry various clothing items made from organic cotton that are super comfortable and well worth spending more for. Wreck the underwear and socks. Senhiza headphones. I'm a chef. Kitchen knives. You never cheap out on. I suggest Wasthoff. Or Shun. I mean, look at this thing. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Amazon. Com Shun Classic Blonde Packer with DM0706 WDPB07X9H6FVK ref equals SO11. Crit equals 3LGI5B86GQLRV and child equals 1 and keywords equals shun plus knives and kid equals 1,635,877,673 and sprefix equals shun plus niv percent 2 caps percent 2C235 and SR equals 81. It's gorgeous. Buy a good knife once and you'll be giving it to your kids one day. Vitamix blenders. I've had mine for years. And it still blends like it is brand new. Makita. Never let me down. The Navy regularly uses a Makita one-stroke 4-hex drive brushless torque capable power driver for aircraft maintenance and in over a decade of working around these things I have never seen one so much as crack. It makes the snap-on tools we use look like cheap disposable tools in comparison. Gonna be an obscure choice. But GoPro. I've been racing stock cars for five years. Some of my cameras have survived violent crashes or being pelted by debris at excessive speeds. Not only have the cameras taken a beating but the clamps mounts used to secure the camera to the outside of the car have never failed. The cameras work as good today as they did when I first bought them even though they are beat to shit. Anyone who has bought on Bode cams from cheaper brands almost unanimously report shit battery life of the camera failing after a minor crash. I am convinced these things could survive nuclear war. Dawn dish soap. You use a little dab and you are good. A small bottle lasts longer than the family size shit brand. My roommate already had a big jug of shit soap and I got my own Dawn. I told her trust me try this you never go back. Also the only expensive clothes I get are Polo Ralph Lauren. Comfortable looks good on my lasts long. Worth it to me. KitchenAid. All other stand mixers suck in comparison. Olaplex. I use the shampoo and conditioner. It's expensive but I don't use it every day. It's one of the very few expensive hair care brands that I honestly think is worth the money. A Swiss Army knife. Use that baby everywhere. That's not a brand. The brand is Victorinox, and formerly Venga. Alan Edmonds shoes. Expensive but beautifully made and will last forever with a little care. Anchor cables. They're super resilient and they just work. Plus they've got a lifetime warranty. I've personally called them about a cable that stopped working and they sent me a free replacement. They have a surprisingly good Bluetooth speaker brand under the main company called Soundcore. They're moderately priced and sound good I love them. 
as a teacher. Expo whiteboard markers. Still. All clad pots and pans. Fuck that Teflon garbage. Stainless all the way. Zippo lighters. Amazing quality. Lifetime guarantee with a no questions asked repair or replacement policy. You can find a broken one randomly on the street. Mail it to them and they will repair or replace it. A Zippo lighter will last generations. Not necessarily a brand name. But buying nice shampoo conditioner instead of drugstore ones can make a big difference. Especially for people of color or with generally thicker hair. My hair is actually so much healthier. Less frizzy. And looks so much better with nicer products. The difference was amazing. Verna's. The original ginger ale. It's not available everywhere so I pay a premium when I find it. The other brands are way too sweet. Every single time someone gets sick in my family. We pick up Verna's. Like. My mom will even bring over a pot of chicken soup and Verna's. We enjoy it all the time. But don't always have it on hand. Unless someone is sick. Verna's floats are awesome. 2. Darn tough Vermont wool socks. Every day. Trust me. Boar's Head Deli Meats. Lego. There is absolutely zero substitute. Noctua. Their quality and functionality is literally worth every single penny. Hot Wheels. Because Hot Wheels. My silly Dyson hair dryer. That thing is amazing. Zajirashi rice cooker. Pepto Bismol. I don't know why. But it just tastes more palatable than any of the off brands. The competition tastes chalky and bad in a way Pepto just doesn't. Pepto isn't exactly good. But it's refreshingly inoffensive. Which is an especially important criteria when my stomach is upset. Always buy brand name Pepto. My Irish setter work boots have never let me down. My last pair lasted like 6 years and are still functional. Plus I think they will maintain them for free if you need repairs. But I never actually went in to get them fixed for anything. My 15 years in a machine shop has taught me to never skimp on work boots. Standing on a concrete floor all day takes its toll on your body. Comfortable. Dry. Warm feet make a world of difference. Tone is chuckle only. New balance if you have wide feet. Taver sandals. IDK if every shoe they sell is the same quality durability. But I use the same pair of sandals every summer from when I was 13 18. And would have kept on using them if they didn't look so run down. I wasn't using them occasionally either basically every day of the summer I was wearing them. Incredibly durable. And still felt as comfortable well fitting as the day I got them.